So I just thought I'd talk to you a little bit about, you know, with advertising being uh, in the news, especially with Elon Musk saying F you to advertisers, um, it just had me thinking that whole story aside and all those shenanigans aside, it had me thinking about advertising and AI and just advertising in general. Um, you know, through some of the conversations that I had with some of my followers, you know, I asked them where they see the ads that they actually buy from. And I'm just thinking about my own experience with what kinds of ads seem to have an effect on me. Particularly, I find that it's ads that showcase the product and there's some relevance of the product to me. So for example, I might succumb to things like, um, uh, just something really unusual gadgets. I unfortunately got fleeced on a particular gadget, which was a this mini ice cream machine that was said to be made in Japan, which was a total lie. And what I ended up getting instead was actually a, like a dollar store blender, mini blender. So it was it was just a scam. But that aside, one of the things that's most important and actually social media and online conversion allowed advertisers to be hyper targeted in terms of the demographics that they're trying to reach. And they're using things like keywords. They're using, you know, figuring out if uh, their target market follows particular accounts. So there's, you can be so much more specific and you can also track it and like sort of the billboard ads or magazine ads. So you know, I think in general, online advertising was actually really, really good for uh, for companies and brands. So now I'm thinking, okay, how do you bring AI into this? Um, and I'm thinking specifically, you know, I guess what made me think about it is Grok, because Grok is an AI system that's reading from Twitter or X, I guess it's now. <laughs> Uh, I guess the official name, by the way, I think is like Twitter X, formerly known as Twitter. I feel like that's the name because <laughs> I see it everywhere. But anyways, um, and this is not just relevant to X, but any other platform that utilizes AI. But essentially, you can get so incredibly targeted in terms of advertising, because not only can you target accounts that, you know, people you might want to reach follow you get to know everything about them in sort of real time. So you get to know how they're feeling, if they're talking or thinking about chocolate or snacks, and you can kind of analyze that even if they don't use specific keywords. That is a big deal. And then you can see if somebody is uh, in a vulnerable mood, and then you present them with an ad uh, in that particular moment that might relate, alleviate their symptoms, let's just say. So, you know, you can be pretty manipulative, actually, with the advertising, not necessarily a great thing, but for advertisers, it is a great thing, because I think the problem right now and what has been expressed to me is that it's, you know, in some of these platforms, very difficult to target people the way you want. So you might run an ad, you might get the impressions that you wanted, but there's no conversion because you're really showing the ad to people who could care less. But here you have an opportunity to um, show it to people at the right moment when they're having particular conversations that might be relevant. And even more so, I think in the future, you can build bots, for example, AI-based bots that will offer product solutions to consumers based on their conversations, and they might even post and chat with you. So these are some of the opportunities um, you know, if I posted, <laughs> I'm feeling hungry, you know, uh, a fast food brand could say, hey, here's a, we have this special promotion just for you. We know that you're hungry and you can make it, you, you know, you can program personalities into this. You can, if you're Wendy's, which is known for being incredibly cheeky um, and flippant, <laughs> you could have Wendy, you know, make a comment, uh, give you a special promotion just for you, but also, you know, make a joke. So there's so much like out of the box kind of advertising opportunities that can be powered by AI and some of it will be more fun for consumers and some of it I would say would be potentially more predatory towards consumers.
But I do think there's some really interesting opportunities because this kind of advertising model of the past, it's not completely irrelevant. Like a lot of people think that they never bought a brand based on an ad, but the reality is it, it's the brand over time, specifically very big brands have built familiarity. So when you're looking for something to buy or you're walking through a store, you think you see their brand and you recognize it and you have certain feelings associated with it. You know, this is a sturdy brand. This is quality. This is luxury. All of these things actually happen because the brand spent a lot of money. Otherwise, you wouldn't even know anything about the brand and you wouldn't have any feelings in regards to it. So it's not that traditional brand uh, advertising is not effective at all. It's just that we now have opportunities to do other kinds of ads as well. And in particular, you know, if I think of my, myself as a consumer uh, and the things that I bought, I mostly bought things from smaller brands uh, through social media. So, you know, I, I would check out the quality because often they're a little bit dubious. And that's a, that's a problem, by the way, like trust and, and figuring out how to make sure that brands are trustworthy and a lot of social media platforms like <clears throat> Facebook uh, allow ads from scam companies that and and even after they're they're reported as fraud they don't stop their campaign so that's a serious problem but it has been a good discovery method for smaller brands like uh you know I bought some very comfortable clothes I've bought leggings and things like that um because those were sort of reputable smaller brands that I wouldn't have heard about otherwise, that wouldn't have had the advertising dollars to do these big, massive ad campaigns and billboards and years and years of branding. But they were able through their advertising to sort of intrigue you um, to checking out the product more because they'd show it, show it in action, show what makes it special, make it sort of exciting. And there's a lot of people do wonderful photography and stylizing uh, of, uh, of products and things like that. So there's a lot of opportunities there. And I think for smaller brands in particular, AI kind of fueled advertising is going to make a big difference but also for the big brands of course it's just another way to reach an audience but you want to know who your audience is you want to know how to find that exact audience that might be interested in your product and you have to figure out okay what kind of messaging uh to show them which by the way can be sort of very dynamic with ai for example if the tool assesses that i'm sort of a cheeky funny, comical person, as opposed to being a more serious person, maybe the ad version that it will present to me generated in real time will be something that's relevant to me and my personality. And that will catch my attention more. So there's so many opportunities here. And I think we're, we're not even remotely close to any of this uh, quite coming to life yet. But I think we're going to see that happening. And I know that a lot of advertising agencies that I've spoken to are investing very heavily into, you know, AI tools and keeping up with the trends and, and being really aware. So this is not, um, this is definitely something on their radar and something that should be on your radar in terms of things to watch out for. And like I said, there's, there's a positive and negative side to it. The advertising is probably going to be more relevant to you, more entertaining, more useful. On the other hand, there's also possibilities of sort of manipulation in particular, you know, taking advantage of somebody being a bit more vulnerable uh, when they're showing you the ad. So those are my thoughts. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this and what are some of the opportunities and challenges and what you might be concerned about when it comes to AI uh, fueled advertising. And uh, let's talk about it.